healthcare. In today's video, we are going to be delving into some beautiful news that is happening in the crypto space. We are going to be taking a look at some incredible altcoin to BTC pairs right here with Crypto, Cobra, Anders. Welcome yeah. back to the show, Crypto Anders. Thank you for being here with yeah. me today. Thank you for being on the show. It's been a while now. So yeah. I've seen your YouTube channel grow and it's been nice to see. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You know, we, we both definitely growing. You've reached, mm. last time I think we spoke, you were on about 1,400 subscribers. You're now kind of 2,200. I think I was mm. about 600 and I'm ne now nearly on the, the thousand level. So to all of those mm. of you watching this video right now, you can, of course, do us a favor. We want to see Anders get up to 3,000 would be his next target. I want to reach past the 1,000 mark. So subscribe to this channel and Crypto Cobra channel and make sure you guys are getting the most up-to-date crypto content available on the internet. Crypto mm. Cobra, what have you noticed has happened this week in crypto that has really caught your attention? The Bitcoin price has gone up to above $27,000 and it's gone down and it's gone up, down, up, down, up. So if you have watched some of my videos in the past, I've said that you should follow at least two, not above two or three crypto coins. I follow them every single day. Watch uh you can create a trading view account for free and you can just kind of look at those coins and do not watch any other coins. Uh, because when you watch a few coins, you will know when the coin is going to go probably go up. A lot of people said, yeah, I'm going long on Bitcoin. I'm going long on Bitcoin. I went short on Bitcoin when that happened. So... <laughs> I I got around uh, yeah I think it was seventy percent return on my trade that day so <laughs> well done that's incredible so so since we last spoke you since we last spoke you weren't doing a lot of intraday trading so you're obviously doing a little bit more intraday trading now I'm I'm trying to stick to only doing Bitcoin because the volatility of other crypto coins, you can go from around, if you have an account about 500, you can go from 500 to zero in a matter of minutes. It all depends when the coin is going up or down. So I, I stick with Bitcoin when I do trading and I try to do it with leverage and what leverage? Kind of, you know. Hmm? What leverage do you like to use at the moment? I really, I do not like to do go over ten. But when I did that short, I had nineteen. So, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. if nice. if I would, that was a high risk, and nobody should do a trade with nineteen x. Okay, that's. Uh... How did it make you feel when you actually took profits on the trade? Oh, good good incredible but, um so and you when you actually look at the price and you see what i like to do i like to use the daily because when you are on the daily chart you can see the coin actually every single candlestick is one day so then you can see if you focus on learning how a candlestick actually looks a good one versus a not a good one then you can see that the if it's a wick on top of the candlestick and the candle goes straight to the bottom and it's a green one then you almost 100 percent know that tomorrow that candle is going to be a red one <laughs> because so kind of that i used to trade on the five minutes and even the one minute chart but it gives you so many bad um, you can look at something and see okay so this is going to be an upward trend no it's going down so i never go above the four hour or one day uh, chart 
never actually okay yeah that's amazing so you like to keep it four hour and daily at the moment i agree with you i mean personally my own strategy has been also look at the weekly confirm on the daily and enter on the four hour and um, mm. I think, you know, because the four hour will give you that precision on your entries. And, um, you know, if your dollar cost average on that support level where it's bouncing or that res resistance level where it's uh, hitting resistance, you can really get nice entries into your positions and um, mm. you can make some good, good trades and good profits. So guys, make sure to hit the BitFlex link down below the video. You guys can go ahead and trade and get yourself an incredible bonus there. And uh, make sure to subscribe to Mr. Crypto Cobra right here because he brings mm. incredible information to you guys as well. So, Crypto Cobra, mm. what are your thoughts that as, uh, you know, we've obviously seen a little bit more FUD happening in the market. It hasn't <laughs> stopped. What is your view about all the FUD that is going on, let's say, around 3AC um, Capital, uh, Suzu, being arrested, uh, Sam Bankman being denied, uh, de denied bail, and of course, then looking at his trial. What are your thoughts around uh, these incidences at the moment? I try not to look at uh, every single news out there because I also had a video on my channel where I featured Bitcoin when so much news were out about, yeah, an ETF is going to change everything and the Bitcoin price is going to go up. People who say those things do not know what an ETF is all about. And I can explain what an ETF is because an ETF is an exchange traded fund. So this means that when a Bitcoin ETF is going to go out, it doesn't mean that it's a billion dollar fund. It could start out with a $1 million Bitcoin fund. And it depends on the, the price of one share of that fund will be equals to how many uh, positions or the actual fund is. So let's say it's 1 million divided by 1 million. And then you will have the actual price of the Bitcoin price. So kind of one... It doesn't mean that, but how the actual Bitcoin price can go up in price is if all of those shares get sold out and they have to be create a bigger fund and all of those shares get sold and they have to create a bigger, the, then the Bitcoin price will skyrocket like nothing we've seen before. So I think a lot of old people that are doing stocks when they see an ETF, I think it could be a good thing, but it we do not know how this turns out before we actually see an ETF created, basically, in my opinion. So and in your relation to what happened with the gold ETF, uh, spot ETF launched, these these firms obviously within so just to the community, just to mm. explain when it's a futures contract you they have to hold absolutely zero of the physical um uh, digital assets or the actual asset they have to hold zero of it but with mm. an etf they actually have to hold the physical and that's what crypto cobra is saying here is that they can start off very small so he's saying mm. that there's a laddering effect that can come in so crypto cobra i'd like to you to express your views on the difference between then how today's scenario with the potential of the spot Bitcoin ETF and comparing that to the incident where the gold ETF was launched because gold ETF, of course, went parabolic pretty much a couple couple weeks after that uh, ETF launched. So what are your views from there? I mean, I think it went nearly 600%. To be honest, I don't really know much about the gold ETF, but... Uh... An ETF in general, my opinion is that I think that it could be a start because a lot of people are not inside uh, crypto in general. So yeah. I think it's only around three or four percent of people that's ever bought crypto in their whole life. So 
I think that if it's gone going to go on a stock exchange, it could be a good thing because then it it will get people that do not know how to buy Bitcoin to yep. finally get the possibility to buy a Bitcoin. So so it will eventually have that parabolic effect, but you're yeah. saying up front in the beginning, it's it will take some time, it will ladder, it there'll be some sort of laddering effect. What do you think that time frame looks like just in your in your view? Nobody knows really. <laughs> I think in my opinion that uh, you can speculate as much as possible, but until it comes out, we do not know how this is going to turn out. Sure. Yeah. But I think it will. They, I think they will start small, and as the actual fund gets bought out, if it's no positions left, then they will of course create a bigger and bigger, 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 as the ETF builds up. Build. In my, I think. Okay. Fair enough. And um, you know, obviously, we're seeing Bitcoin tap or around that 27k resistance level what are your views and please by any means you're welcome to share charts if you'd like to do but basically what i'd like to see is what are your views currently around the bitcoin price as to where we're at right now because obviously we're tapping resistance at about 27k and where do you think we are at the moment from last time i think we spoke we said that if we broke that upward sloping trend line that we would possibly see it come down quite a bit but we haven't broken it and you know obviously we're catching up today and it seems to have bounced quite nicely mm. so if you have uh share your charts or all your views yeah i can share my screen so what i like to do is i like to have not on the weekly i like to have it on the daily so the first thing i like to do is i use two different types of um, indicators the first one is called, um, you can search for machine learning. Machine learning. And okay. add one. Yeah, and add one with called, I can show you, I think, here. So just search for machine learning. And add this by JD Horte. And you have one other one that's um, triangles and widgets finder. Okay. I can so see. the first thing I like to do is have a clean strike and I like to zoom out a bit and have at least almost a year. So I think it was around here. And then I like to take a line from the bottom and straight up like so. Yeah. And then we kind of have a template of something that looks kind of. This looks like you have um, the MACD indicator on as well at the same time with these other two. Yeah, indicators. I have um, an indicator at the bottom here called the Mac uh, Impulse MACD. Okay. This indicator is it doesn't show any kind of anything that's going to happen before it actually happens. So no false um, data. As you see here, the blue line uh, is has to be above and it kind of crossed down here. So yes, yes but, we can see. In general, I do not like to just use those. I like to kind of have a clean, actually a hundred percent clean, like so. And then I kind of take a line at the actual bottom. Like so. And why do I put a line here? Because this is the bottom of something that has a touched at least three times. So it touched several times here. So this is a baseline. I will not do a trade kind of, I will 
base my trade on what's happening at this point, but I will not kind of I will not put in a um, a long position if I think it's going to go down, whatever people say, really. So yeah, and then I kind of do a baseline like higher lows than the previous. And here it happened something kind of it went through. So this would be a great place to have a short position. And now I also kind of think it's still below the actual upwards trend line that goes here. So it could possibly be a upwards trend, but it's I still think it's kind of I still think it's going a bit down because as the order books go out, you have to see. And what do you believe will bring it down and what level do you think it will come down to? So if it really comes down, I do not think this is going to happen, but at the moment, it looks like it has a upwards trend line. So it looks like it's possibly going to go a bit up because this doesn't have a wick on it yet. Yeah. So. And we're we're currently on the weekend as well. The trading it's volume a sideways. Will be lower. Yeah. yeah. It's it's going sideways. So. For sure. So. Yeah. What I also like to do is I like to have a line from the bottom and up like so so you have kind of two yeah if this breaks below this line around here i would possibly put in a short position there because it means that it as this lower trend line it means that it could go a bit lower but I do not still think it's going to 20,000. This level, I think, is the lowest of the low. It could happen in a week, few weeks. Okay. Incredible. So, and how do you think the, what do you think is going to, um, how do you think the Bitcoin halving is going to affect the Bitcoin price? As the Bitcoin halving comes, it will always kind of go a bit down before the halving. And as people buy Bitcoin, you will see these kind of small spikes, but then it kind of goes a bit down again. You see it here. Yeah. So this was uh, possibly some news happening here. A little spike and then it kind of broke down. That's the same. Here it's the same thing happened. So this is all the kind of new so-called bull news that's <laughs> out there. You see these kind of small spikes, but it's not huge amounts. And this means that it will go down a bit again. So I think it will go. I think it could possibly go down to this level around 726. I do not think when it goes above 27,000 like it was here, I think it will go down to the same again in some hours. Okay. Because a lot of people, when this happens, they do not want to lose the trade. So a lot of people buy when the Bitcoin price, they say, oh, is the Bitcoin price going to go up more? And a lot of people buy. So this is, this is a place where I actually shorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shorted right there, hey? Oh, okay. Yes. Interesting. And did you take profits yet? 20... Or, or have you, are yes. you still in the trade? You have taken. Uh, I took profits and then I went out and then I put in a short again. And then I took profits again, actually. So, oh, wow. wow. I had a little, so I had a long. And then when it reached 27,000, the top pair, I actually sold. 
and then I put in a short, and then I was in minus a bit here, so I thought I was going to lose, but I just hold the position and yeah. And you took some profit. That's incredible. But that's high risk. That's high, high risk. <laughs> Yeah, you said you were doing 20%, I mean, 19%, mm. I mean, 19x, excuse me. That's incredible. Very, very Sp nice. These kind of spikes here is somewhat news related because uh, you do not see huge spikes without. So at this point here, I guess we saw huge amounts of volume and people were trying to pull the Bitcoin price up and they failed. And then it went a bit down again. So sure. who knows? Fair but enough. the one thing is nobody knows if it's going to go up or down in the, you can only speculate. And what I like about this actual machine learning thing is, as you see here, these are previous places where it actually Put in sell short here. Do you see how much that? Yeah. So, and you see here, it kind of makes a um, red line inside the green. This means a, a lot of people are selling. So, I it's a great um, baseline to other. And it's 100% free, but actually. Okay. And this is, you can kind of, it helps you get good trade lines actually from top to bottom. So how I would use this is I would create two lines like so, and I will just click this button here so I kind of have a baseline. And if... I do not think this would happen, but I think the Bitcoin price is having sideways for a, for probably a week or two more, actually. Okay. Until we see a Bitcoin ETF. So, so do you think we're going to have a Rocktober or a Floptober? I do not think it's a uh, positive. I do not think we are going to see a $40,000 Bitcoin in October. So, okay. When do you think we'll see a 40,000 Bitcoin? If you had to, and of course, guys, we're not holding Crypto Cobra um, to his price point. I would love, I would love to have a uh, magic ball. I could just touch and when I would see everything is going to happen, but it doesn't have to you can you can be a good trader or you can be a bad trader every trader loses so yeah. if you are in trading you have to have a mentality that you could lose everything in one single day so let's say we had a trade here put in a long because we think the bitcoin price could go up to 27300 again and we put in a high position you have to have the mentality that it could go wrong and you could lose everything. Sure. So for every new people out there, I suggest everyone that find out how much money you can save and just put in, let's say you have $500 to use on Bitcoin a month. Buy $500 and spread it out in five weeks or four weeks a month, buy $125 worth of Bitcoin every single week, same day, whether the price is going up or down. In the long run, you will have more Bitcoin in your holdings than if you try to do these trades I've done here because you will lose in the, if you do not know what you're doing. A lot of trades, why I only trade Bitcoin is because the volatility is quite low. So this, if I put in a 19x position here, my money wouldn't be zero before the price is around here. But let's say we put in a position on 
a coin that's a one dollar coin so or 50 cent coin i would lose my money around here <laughs> if you know so yeah yeah because the moves are, are are big yeah 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 for sure so, i actually took a last week i took a blz usdt short as well i literally caught it right at the top which ended up being a triple top and i took a 140 hmm. percent on that trade and uh that was quite a fun trade for me it was one because i don't generally like trading short um i prefer getting good long entries in um, but, uh, I tried out the shorts and I've been practicing a bit more with the shorts and it ended up working incredibly well for me. So, uh, I'm getting used to it. It's just the main, the mindset around tr trading in a specific way. Everybody's always thinking that trading is just buy, 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 but it's not, you can make money both ways in the market, right? So you yeah. can see here, even on crypto Cobra's chart that there are short and long entry positions into this, into the, the Bitcoin price. And this is only one chart, guys. Mm. So, Crypto Cobra, do you have anything else that is so important around Bitcoin and the value of Bitcoin that you would like to share with uh, the Crypto Risk community, please? Use a wallet that's safe. That's the first thing. And then buy Bitcoin, as I said throughout a month you can buy it once or you can buy it four times but buy steadily whether the price is going up or down do not focus on your holdings going down with 10 20 percent because eventually people have to have a long position hold mentality when they're purchasing crypto because all the people probably 30 percent of people that bought bitcoin when it was 6800 or 68000 do you do you think they sold lower yes you do not have to do those things because you have to have a long it's not a get rich quick scheme as many people say that's my opinion Thank you. So, no, I appreciate that. So, you have been an incredible person as usual on the channel and um, always bringing good insights. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me and the Crypto Bliss community. Guys, make sure to go mm -hmm. ahead and subscribe right there, right now to Crypto Cobra, incredible channel showing you lots and lots of altcoin reviews and um, obviously Thanks. just sharing good news in the Bitcoin space. So really appreciate you being back on the show, Crypto Cobra, and I hope to have you back in the near future once again. Yeah, thanks. You too, brother. Thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to him and let his channel get over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being on the channel, bro. So. I appreciate that, brother. You heard him, guys. Subscribe to both the channels. We'll see you on the next one, beautiful souls. Take care. We'll see you later, Crypto Cobra.